Hi, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Welcome back to my channel. You remember the video, the open invitation to programmers, because we wanted to have a USB driver that uh, works with a PC. You can install it and can uh, do Digimode with the TrueSDX only with USB cable. Well, there has been happening a lot in between. Um, <clears throat> For example, Dan, a Yankee Oscar 3 Golf Golf X-Ray, um, implemented the, the, audio cuts, the audio streaming into his Pocket RXTX software and in his JARX software. I think it will be available soon. Right now we have only uh, beta or even alpha versions, but it, it will, we will get there. But that was not what we were looking for. We wanted to have just a simple connection between PC and TrueSDX. And with this, getting rid of the audio cables that uh, were necessary before to connect it to any Digimode setup on your PC. Then, uh, Oli, Sierra Quebec 3, Sierra Whiskey Foxtrot replied to us. <clears throat> and relatively fast, very fast, he was actually the first one to do that, uh, did a very simple uh, Linux driver that could do exactly that. It was very limited. Uh, it did not use cut commands, uh, and it just worked on Linux, but Guido used his code uh, that he published uh, and developed it further into something that works A on Windows, B includes cut commands and even created an installer for Windows. And I'm going to show you that this setup is working right now and I'm going to show you how it works and even showing you how to get it. Um, one note of disclaimer up front, um, Guido and me do not want to support this. This is an experimental thing, use it as it is. It will be developed further, but please don't write us any emails about it. Don't uh, contact us about it. Uh, if you have questions, post them into the forum or the Facebook group um, and ask other people for help. Maybe we will reply, but we do not want to give direct support for that. Please respect that, okay? I'm sorry, but it's, it's simply because of uh, the high numbers of true SCXs out there and it's already a workload that, that I'm almost no longer able to handle. So I need to, I need to make a cut here. Um, but on the other side, we still want to have new features. We still want to play with new stuff, but help each other and then it will work, I guess. Okay, let's go to the shack and check it out, right? Before I start, I want to make you aware that I needed to go through three cables until I found one that worked half decently. Use the shortest cable available, data, uh, maximum thickness. I needed to try three until I had one that worked, just to keep that in mind. Welcome to my shack. This is the TrueSDX, connected only via USB cable to uh, the computer which is this one, this is my Shack computer. And yeah, antenna is connected, the power supply is connected, I'm at 13.8 volts. And uh, right now it's in, in normal mode. By the way, you need the special beta version that comes with uh, audio streaming via CUT, RX and TX. I'm going to show you where to get that later, but now let's jump into the settings or the, the software. Excuse me, my uh, Shack computer is not powerful enough, uh, so it can handle screen recording at the same time as I do other stuff. So I'm recording the screen with my camera. Excuse me for that. I hope the quality is still enough. So in order to get it running, the TrueSDX is connected and I'm starting the TrueSDX driver, which has been installed by Guido's installer. Now you can see TrueSDX driver OK available Devices, cable input, cable output, COM8. This is important information because there was trouble in my case because the TrueSDX was on COM8 before, so I needed to assign, without the driver, needed to assign it to a different COM port because COM8 is reserved for the TrueSDX. Uh, this must not be closed in order to work. And as you can hear, maybe, I hope you can hear that, the, the TrueSDX is now silenced. I'm going to minimize that and now I'm going to start, yeah, let's start WSJTX. I'm going to show you the setup real quick, how that looks. It's already configured, so it will decode immediately. 
So we have the right frequency. Okay, let's wait one cycle. Oh, never mind. I'm going to, yeah, see it's decoding already. Now, uh, those are the settings. We are at COM8, which is the COM port provided by the driver. Um, everything standard, PTT cut. Um, now, if we go to audio, you can see it's a virtual audio cable input and output and that is what our USB driver does besides uh, providing another virtual COM port for cut commands. So all audio is now streamed via USB. Now let's see if we can find a free slot. Yeah, this is looking good. So I'm going to going to transmit CQ. Let's see what happens. And just to mention that, this is only, still just only with USB, nothing more connected. I'm going to pause, okay, immediately two replies. That's cool. So let's work the first one. Then let's work the second one, so we didn't fool them. And then I'm going to show you how uh, Windlink and Vara is working. It works the same way. With the driver still running in the background, I'm going to start Windlink. And let's write a mail to Guido, PE1 and NZ. Subject, hello, then let's say, hi Guido, just doing a YouTube video, 73, Manuel, deal to MAN. Now, let's send it, I'm going to open a VARA session. Um, and if you never worked with VARA, okay, sorry, if, I, if you never worked with VARA, uh, the settings are as follows. Device is the virtual sound devices that we could choose before. Um, you can crank it up all the way, it doesn't matter because uh, the internal, the internal, uh, yeah, you cannot go above 100%. That's the, the beauty about digital audio. Okay, where is my VARA session? I'm going to connect now to this station because I know it works. I'm going to start. It's calling. I'm going to switch on my icon in the background so just that you hear what is happening That's it. And that's it. Okay, we just sent the email. Okay, still a little bit buggy here and there, but you get the point. The bugs will be honed out, and then this will be absolutely fun stuff. Now it's a little bit later, and I decided to check if Guido has sent me a reply. Let's connect. It's connected. And there we go. 
now we've received his email. Great. Hello, YouTubers. Enjoy the new firmware and USB driver, 73 Guido. That is an email sent from Guido as reply to the mail I just sent him via shortwave. And I know for a fact that he's using the same setup as I do, which is a computer connected to USB uh, via USB cable to the TrueSDX. And so this mail was sent via shortwave only using two TrueSDXs. Isn't that great? Thank you, Guido. <laughs> for this to work, you need two things. One is the beta firmware. Uh, to get the beta firmware, you go to the DL2 Mandy to the firmware page. Then you scroll down and there is an experimental beta upload here when available. So when you click there, you will get to the beta download page. You enter your serial number, your call sign as usual, download it, upload it to your radio and your radio is ready to go. Uh, don't forget to calibrate frequency again and do all the settings in case you have uh, something else than a low band version you need to adjust that, you need to make all the adjustments. By the way the beta software is 2.00 uniform. The next thing you need is obviously Guido's driver. Uh, you can download that at Guido's GitHub. I've put your link in the description below the video and if you click here on the releases uh, you can download the setup, uh, which is a .exe file, which obviously causes uh, Windows to warn you about it. You can ignore that all. Uh, you can trust Guido and just run it. Install it and have fun as I have just shown you. Okay, guys, that's all for today. I hope it was as exciting for you as it was for me. I can only encourage you to upload the beta firmware to try it out um, and discuss in the forum and the Facebook group how it works for you and help each other to get it work. As you could see, it's still a little bit buggy. Um, we are still working on it, but uh, yeah, it's always when you try something absolutely new that has not been done before. Yeah, it's always a steep learning curve, right? Okay, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, 73. Bye-bye.